Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing really good. Uh, right now, it's uh, not snowing anymore, so I'm actually super, super good. So, we're going to be playing a game called Trivia Cl Crack. <laughs> and uh, it sounds like I'm on it already. It's really weird. Alright, so, this is the profile right here. Uh, it's really, really cool. Really cool. It's actually a very different trivia game because instead of just answering back and forth like really fast questions, it pauses after each question unless you click to continue. So it's actually kind of an, a super easy one, you know? And all you have to do is try to win over like against friends in Facebook and other friends and you try to beat them over the week. So like you have to perform better over the week and then also like by rank. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, I have one uh, gold three times so the last three weeks it's it's as I said super easy uh, actually the easiest way to do that is I learned uh, is to not like play a bunch of friends right off the bat because it adds friends to your list if you're just playing a bunch of randoms and that's all you do that's how you get the top of the leaderboard just do like a couple of friends and you always beat them so I only have like 17 or something friends on there and I guess they aren't playing all the time, you know, because they don't have all the time in the world, so... Also, it tracks your performance, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you get to know, you know, what you get to see, sort of an estimate of how well you do in different categories, how many you've won, challenges. I can't figure out what the Friends Challenges does, though, because I've done lots of challenges, with Friends even, but they don't come up on this stat thing. Anyway, so let's get right into it. Here we get right into it. We're going to play this guy. We're going to start off. So, it spins a wheel, which gives you a random category. You're trying to win all six characters before the other player gets all six. And when you miss a question, you basically just keep answering questions until you miss one. So, this one is, what character did Tim Allen voice? I'm assuming in Toy Story. So, uh, you have a timer at the top. It's like 30 or 60 seconds or something, or 30 seconds. It's actually a long time. So, you actually have a lot of time, as you can see I'm talking right now. Buzz Lightyear. Entertainment. It's super easy. I thought the questions would get harder as you progress because you get rank gain ranks for a certain amount of like XP or answered question bonus, but it doesn't. It's all user submitted and like user curated, which can be bad because there are a lot of like, there are a lot of mess ups and like grammar and stuff, which you can tell them about when you see that question. So that's kind of interesting too. Then there's also crown. When you land on that crown icon, the purple one, you uh, get the chance to answer a question for a special character. When you challenge someone, it's more like a normal trivia game where it's like fast, fast, fast questions and there's six of them and out of six, whoever answers the most, like if you answer six and they answer four, you win and you gain that character. And you wager like a character, so it's kind of like betting a little bit <laughs> and there's like spinning. Yeah, it's, it's gambling. <laughs> all right, so this one's all new, so I haven't got any of these characters. So you pick a character. So I'm gonna go with science. Which one of the following corresponds best to the word genetics? Let me see. So, obviously, it would be hereditary. <laughs> and then you can rate the question because they're created by users, so they're like, oh, how, how, what do you like think of it? So, you can spin it by pressing spin, or you can spin it with your finger, like that, but you have to kind of give it a good spin. It doesn't go as far. Also, you what I like to do is set it up, because you can almost predict, you can almost, almost predict uh, where this is going to go. So, I like to set it in a certain spot, and then see if I can get it to land on certain things. The goal being, of course, is to land on a crown like three times in a row, which I've done two times in a row before. But after two times, it very it uh, randomizes it again. So that's that's pretty good, I guess. They don't want you don't want people cheating like that. How was notorious outlaw Jesse James killed? Oh yeah, he was shot by his uh, what is that guy's name? His partner. It was like one of the new. Uh, new members of his gang. He shouldn't have trusted him because he was a plant. That's what you do. That's what you do. Alright, anyway, I'm pretty terrible at the sports category, as always, because I am terrible at it in general. You can look at your stats of your game by with the button on the lower right. Uh, there's how you're performing, how many crowns you've gotten. Um, I don't know what the flag is. I guess you could tell them that they're reporting the player. Uh, so, let's try another one. Let's get a good one. Let's do it. Don't sports. Okay, art. Art can, art can work. What instrument did composer Antonio Vivaldi play? He played Vivaldi? 
She played a violin, right? Sounds like it. All right, so once this loads, seriously, seriously, are you kidding me right now? Think harder, think faster, think stronger. <clears throat> Thank you very much. All right, so now it work. Anyway, all right, so you can chat with friends, the person you know, um, and then below, see how it filled in when I got that one right? There are three slots down there, and then once the third one is filled in, you get a crown. So if you don't spin and land on a crown right away, you can also gain one by answering three questions in a row correctly. So that's cool. Also, at the beginning of a game, when you start a game, you need lives. You get, it gives you like three, and then if you buy, you know, I purchase, there's, you can buy like unlimited or whatever, five. So at the beginning of a game, when you use a life, they have to have a life as well, apparently, when you send a match to them, because it is turn-based. So you make you do your turn, and then when you get one wrong or win, it sends a notification to them, and then they go. Obviously, if you win, then they don't have to go. But it tells them, it's like in your face and everything. No, I'm just kidding. And then there's uh, there's also power-ups at the bottoms to help you like answer a question. You can skip it or respin or different stuff. But anyway, so let's spin the dial. <laughs> Sports, of course. In which of these sports would you make use of a backboard? That would be basketball. Because darts doesn't have a backboard. It has a shooting board. Alright, so see? It just gave me a crown because I answered in a row. <laughs> That's how that works. So, we'll do history. What was John F. Kennedy's middle name? His middle name was Fitzgerald. How about that? That's good! Apparently. Alright. And we got it. You gotta tell when it's gonna land. It's pretty obvious. Let's do an entertainment. It's an easy one. R.L. Stein is famous for what children? Okay, that's easy. That is Goosebumps. R.L. Stein is pretty famously known for several series. To make it fair, you can only win uh, three characters in a row at the beginning. Uh, so that way, it's like, oh, you've already won three. Let the other person have a chance. That way, it's an actual game. You don't just win it six immediately from the beginning of the game. So then, so that's kind of that's smart too. But after that, it's like unlimited. So to make it fun, you would do a lot of challenges once you got characters, so you'd lose them in game and lose in game and it just last for a long time. There are like, this is round 17 and 20, I think there's up to 30 or something rounds. I've never made it to 30, but I've gotten pretty close. It's like 20 something one time, just for fun. Who was the communist leader of Cambodia? That would be Pol Pot. All right, I didn't know that one. Now, the way these, these questions are pretty easy, as I said before, they're not really worded very well. I would I would put like pitfalls and all kinds of different traps if I was writing questions, which I have. You can submit questions, which is kind of fun, but it's also t tough to figure out. And then they have to rate them, the community has to rate them before they get submitted and everything, so. It takes a long time. All right, let's do sports. I don't know if I can do this. What sports team name do Texas and New York share? The Texas Rangers. I guess I knew that. Because, you know, horses, rangers, yeah, you get it. Oh, don't do this to me. Please, don't do this. Thank you. Not like this. Not like this. What are we going to get? What are we going to get from the magic roulette? Okay, oh, right. What city's museum was based on for the filming of Night at the Museum? What city's museum? Oh, uh, uh, um. Okay, New York. New York City. <laughs> Something like that. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, I want a good buffer. This guy has three. He's won three characters already, so I want to win. I have four now, but I want to get at least one more. That's uh, ideal. Who played guitar for Led Zeppelin? Uh, it's Jimmy Page or J Robert Plant, right? Or, okay, I've heard of Eric Clapton. But I don't, I don't know bands that well. So, this is going to be a random guess. Here we go. Oh, it was Jimmy. All right. So there we go. And then there's ads, which uh, you can do take care of by like going to another app. Another thing that's fun is uh, you can remove ads by paying for the app for like two dollars or something. Or uh, if somebody, it'll if you set like notifications for to be notified when somebody else is playing and you're playing a lot of people, you'll be getting them all the time. So when sometimes when you have an ad, it'll pop down at the top and you can just tap on it and go straight to that game without, and it'll skip the ad, which is pretty smart. All right, 
So we'll, uh, we'll just try this. See if that works. Cheaters! So let me try this one. So let's start here. And... History, please. No... Okay. No one hates sports. I want to fall accidentally into sports and just wreck myself. Who is the god of messengers and thieves in Greek mythology? Is Thebes spelled right? That looks wrong. Alright. <clears throat> um, Mercury, right? Because he's fast as Mercury, yeah? Hermes. Okay. I did read about Hermes recently. That was... That was interesting. I'll have to learn a, bit, a little bit more about him. So you can actually learn some stuff. Like, there's a lot of random knowledge that I know, but there's also stuff I don't know that I end up learning in here. So that's interesting. But you want to be careful that you don't learn something that's not true. If you want to fact check stuff, definitely. Don't believe everything a person says. What player won the NBA Most Valuable Player Award in 2012 and 2013? That would be LeBron. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, all right. And I think we won again. It's just our lucky day. You and me. Let's do this. What do we want to pick? Do we want to pick geog geography or the big round blue thing with the green? How about that? What month doesn't have a nationally recognized holiday? That would be August, January, September, or March. Nationally recognized holiday? Um... There's not really any, any March, I don't think. But, uh, I guess August has. So, let's try this one. Actually, I should have done the other one. I saw one with five. Anyway, alright, we'll go with this. Ah, oh, and we win again. See, it just gives it to you, basically. It's just so, so easy. Who won? Who coined the phrase, give me liberty or give me death? Well, that's obviously Patrick Henry. I know my history. That's a very important piece. Entertainment. I can take some entertainment. Let's do it. Who is the author of the Hunger Games trilogy? That is Shujern Crunch. I'm sad that I even know that. Alright. So, what do you guys think of this app? Let me know in the comments. How often do you play? Is it as addicting as the word? Before coming present, George W. Bush was the governor of what state? He was the governor of Texas. Because I lived there during that time. It happened, you know? Alright, alright. Alright. Sports, we'll do it. Fine. Who is the NFL's all time leader in rushing yards? That would be. Emmett Smith. Good one. And here that comes again. So, we'll ignore him. He's like the weird friend next door that just won't leave you alone. Just kidding. No offense to his silly face. Alright. Let's go. Let's go with a match that I'm about to lose. This person is obviously a boss! What city are the Suns from? Um, that's the Phoenix or Los Angeles? Phoenix or Los Angeles? Phoenix. Phoenix. Good one. See, well, the thing about multiple choice that makes trivia so easy <laughs> is that even if you don't know it, there's only four choices. Or sometimes less. Sometimes it's just like two or three.